Hello everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine. And uh, today we are going to be making a very basic and a very easy steel structure, right? So check this out. Uh, we are working on our Bangalore project. There are so many different massing and sides that I have done. Oh my God, one, two, and three, the canopy. And this one is four, right? Ten, and this is five and six, seven, eight, nine. And our U-shaped curtain was 10. So 10 total massing and sides, right? Make sure you watch all of these videos. I've made separate videos for all of them. You can learn so many different things you know for today so i've kind of made this pattern right here we are going to be making a steel structure right the most basic one this is a steel uh, structure series i'm doing uh, i mean there are going to be so many of them about five to six to seven and uh, this is going to be the first one so uh let's quickly get started for example if you go to front right here and uh if you go to right right here uh if you go to front um okay so after that uh, let's paste a point let's go to um, uh, based on uh, work plan and guys um, you know do not use these right uh, let, let's do it together um, always make sure that you're using shortcuts right so let's press MD let's click on that and uh, because you know if you want to master Revit do not use these functions use shortcuts in most of the cases now uh, let's click on that let's go to reference let's go to points and uh, let's go to work on plane let's go to set and uh, tap tap and uh, let's paste a point Let's press MD, let's click on this point and uh, let's go to filters, let's check in, let's go to reference points and oh my god, am I going too fast? Make sure you're following. After that, uh, so this is the second point, let's change this into a, a parameter. So this is going to be the vertical, uh, V-R-T-I-C-L, vertical offset of 500 mm and uh, let's press OK, let's press OK, let's go to this and uh, let's change this to 500 mm perfect after that uh, let's press ok let's press un and uh, let's change this to millimeters let's press two decimal places ok ok and uh, let's press md let's select on that let's go to uh, make it adaptive let's press co let's click from this point and uh, let's move this by let's activate constraints and uh, let's move it by 500 mm and uh, perfect here we go guys and uh, after that let's go to reference let's go to line let's activate 3d and let's go paste by face and let's make our main frame so one two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, five and uh, six right here let's uh, wide line is slightly off axis and may cause inaccuracies why why would it cause inaccuracies what is the point of being slightly off axis i do not understand this error this shouldn't be off axis uh, you know, there, there is not going to be an error. So let's go to uh, points. Let's go to paste by face. And uh, let's paste two of our points. Let's go to circle. And uh, let's go to set. And uh, let's click on that. Let's uh, set. Let's go to, let's press MD. And uh, let's click on that. And uh, let's click on this dimension. Let's change this dimension into a controllable parameters. And this is going to be the C I R C L E D I A circle dia. Uh, perfect. And uh, now uh, let's click on this point and uh, let's click on this point and uh, let's press co to copy and uh, paste and uh, let's click on md thank god i didn't use this because we have to use shortcuts let's pick a new plane let's um paste it on the plane let's click on this dot let's delete that dot and uh what else let's click on this and uh you know i want my my this to be uh 500 and uh, this one to be 35 let's press apply and let's see what happens Okay, and uh, let's click on this. Let's click on this dimension. Let's change this dimension into a controller parameter, which is going to be this. And uh, perfect. Even that has changed now, 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 now. Tab, tab, tab. Okay, select on this, select on this, and uh, control. And uh, here you go. And after that, let's uh, come on, come on, come on. Tab and. Uh, Let's click on this and uh, let's click on that and uh, today I'm speaking so fast guys, <laughs> alright. So after that, uh, let's press MD, let's click on the entire thing, let's go to filters, let's check none and generic models. This is the main body of our material. So our, our shape is completely, you could say, parametric, alright. Let's go to new, so this is going to be our frame. Uh, M A T R I A L frame material and uh, let's go to type, let's press OK, let's go to this family right here. And uh, let's change this to a beautiful CH or you know what, STEL. I've used uh, the steel material so much. We want a beautiful, okay, this one kind of looks nice. Let's press OK. Let's go to use rendered appearance. Uh, let's press OK and uh, let's press OK. And uh, this is it, guys. And uh, remember uh, the adaptive points. This is the, uh, where is the adaptive point? Oh, my God. Uh, let's decrease this to, to what? To 30. It is too fat. Uh, so this is the one and uh, this is the two right make sure you uh, 
uh, yes, this is number two. Okay, so load into the browser because this is how we are going to paste it on our nodes. All right, this is nothing very hard to understand. I've done this thing so many different times, and uh, one right here and uh, two right here. Uh, okay, let's do two right here. Um, okay, fine. After that, let's go to modify and uh, let's click on that and let's try to flip it. Will it flip? Um, okay, it only flipped <laughs> the numbers. Fine. Let's click on this and uh, let's click on that. Let's try to bring it above. Oh my god. Um, but uh, I think the solution for this problem right here, because we wanted this side, right? Let's go back to our 3D family and uh, let's try to change the numbers right here. So again, you know, there are so many. So this is going to be one and uh, this is two. This is where we have the problems. How about we change this to number two? And uh, let's see if uh, this solution works. This one can be uh, number uh, three and uh, that one would automatically number four. Let's go to load into the project and uh, let's press uh, override the existing version. That's fine. And uh, let's press CM one and a two and check this out. So I solved the problem in front of you guys. Uh, this is how you know you learn inside Revit. You're going to face problems and you have to uh, solve them after that. Uh, once we click on uh, one of the families, right? For example, um, sometimes that thing, the menus is not changed. Uh, let's go back and now it's changed, all right? So now we have uh, the repeat and uh, let's press OK and check this out, guys. So our first beautiful steel structure is made, all right? So CM, another one. And uh, for example, let's click on this. Let's click on this and uh, perfect. And uh, let's go to modify right here. Let's click on the load family. I mean on the, the component and uh, let's press OK and check this out. So a very basic, a very simple truss uh, structure is already made, right? So I hope, I think that would be the end of the video, right? Um, now you can even add your roofs by extrusion and you can do all the different things that you want to do with it. But uh, anyways, I think this would be it for today, right? For example, this is the final, uh, the final family and uh, let's press MD. And uh, let's click on that and uh, let's go to repeat. So this is it, a very basic uh, steel uh, truss system inside Revit, right? I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from this. I'm going to include the final renders and bye-bye. Uh, Take care, everyone.